Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's just dive right in. I have your pre-shuffle energies here for you. We have the Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Emperor. Um, the Seven of Cups was the first card that I saw. It was the the, the, the card on top of the stack when, it, when it all, all four of these cards flipped over at once. Um, and the Seven of Cups was at the top of the stack. So what initially what i got from the seven of cups is that there's some there's a change that's happening for you and i felt there was a change coming before i even saw the wheel of fortune but initially the first feeling i got was kind of like panic and fear almost um maybe eh, to varying degrees take it as it resonates for you um but the the biggest thing is uncertainty is here for you here um I, and i feel like there is, I, maybe there's a need for something to change in your, okay, that's it. I feel like there's something that needs to change on your life, in your life, and it's at, it's like right at the edge of changing, or it's, it's, you're right at that moment, like right before you actually take that step or make that choice towards this change that you know kind of needs to happen. But there's some sort of fear or apprehension or even confusion surrounding whether or not you should make this change or not. Um, and the Ace of Cups is here to assure you or to help guide you in that decision. Make your choice from love, but more specifically, Aquarius, self-love. Aquarius is a very giving sign. It's the entrepreneur, not the entrepreneur, it's the um, philanthropist of the, uh, of the Zodiac, right? So often Aquarius... Aquarian energy can get wrapped up in overgiving a lot, um, being of service in people, being of service to people while sometimes losing sight of themselves, or at least that's kind of what I'm feeling here for you. There's some sort of oversight that has happened here, and there's a maybe you've overextended yourself in a way. This could be business. This very well could be business, um, but it also it could be anything in your life. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like there's a stark realization of how you may have overgiven or overextended yourself in some way, and now you're needing to pull back, but because of a sense of responsibility and duty, which is also represented here in the in the emperor, um, the energies of the emperor, there is a, there is some sort of fear in terms of reining it in or pulling back now, but ultimately the spirit spirit is giving you the go ahead here and saying if it's in service of self-love if it's in service of self-preservation and if it's in service of maintaining a sense of well-being then you have absolutely every right to to pull back or to make some sort of change here with the what the wheel of fortune is showing me actually is this might be a major realization for you i think some of you may be understanding just how much you've been feeding into this cycle of overgiving for so long and now you finally have the understanding that it's necessary or the awareness i'll say this the awareness that is necessary for you to be able to make some sort of change for you to be able to balance the situation out or to adjust some of your destined destiny or karma and i am kind of seeing destiny and karma as the same thing because right now just because your karma or your destiny in this situation is whatever is going to come back to you after you've been feeding into a certain situation or or providing extra fuel to to a certain momentum right but now i feel like you're in the process aquarius of changing that momentum that's what the wheel of fortune here is for you okay cool 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 Ultimately, Aquarius, this is a very good thing. Now, also with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, what this is, what Spirit is saying, especially coupled with the Ace of Cups here, is you're in control of your life. You've always been in control. Some of you might actually be a boss in some way. Um, <clears throat> just, or you may have some sort of power. And I, and this is not a power that I feel like you're you're abusing or is any sort of narcissistic type thing. Um, it just feels like you hold some sort of power or some sort of authority or you're a boss somehow. Um, 
and maybe this has to do with business maybe maybe the business has overextended themselves somehow maybe the the pandemic has has put an extreme strain on a business where you know you had some some responsibilities you gladly took on in the past but now it's a struggle to continue doing so and you don't want to seem like you're abandoning anyone but quite frankly if you can't provide if you can't still provide that service in this environment or this atmosphere while keeping yourself afloat then there's no reason that you should continue to 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 shoot your own self in the foot just to provide something to someone that you don't have the means to provide any longer you know what i mean and that's not any that's not your fault aquarius especially if this has to do i mean regardless of whether it has to do with the pandemic or not i don't feel like anything was really mismanaged here it's quite possible that it has been, but if it, ha but if this has to do with the pandemic, guys, that is not your fault. <laughs> okay. That is nowhere near your fault. All right. Let's see what else we've got for you here, Aquarius. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to give this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for you here. One, two, for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. Three, four, and all right Aquarius Boop. all right overall energy here we have temperance Ooh, Aquarius look your focus right now needs to be on balance and harmony what is going to keep you afloat and while still trying to be able to be there and do things for others. I mean, we're not we're not asking you not to be able to not to be of service right now. We are asking you to be of service in a way that is way more balanced. Okay? You can't be of service and 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 are constantly giving and depleting giving of yourself and depleting yourself, right? And 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 expect that to be sustainable. I mean, by definition, it's not sustainable. You're depleting yourself, right? So greater balance is in, is needed here. This could very well be a message for someone who's on the younger end of the life spectrum and is very new or fairly new to this whole energy of being of service and giving of people you might have, or giving of yourself. You might have recently found fulfillment in that and that's great but now you're in the process of learning how to balance that out okay which ultimately is a good thing underneath temperance is the king of pentacles all right so yeah this is someone probably who is a boss um uh, uh a money maker um a provider you know the husband father archetype potentially um but also what I'm getting with this Aquarius is whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This just feels like someone that is very grounded, very stable, very secure. But it also feels like someone that has the means to or is willing to help. So you can have you can either have the means to help like financially or energetically. Or maybe you have you you have some sort of unique skill or you've studied something that would be of service. You'd be able to be of service for to people with and that's beautiful the, this king of pentacles energy is really saying to me at this point that you know it's it's confirmation that you are capable you are absolutely capable of being in this position but we're asking you to to balance it out better okay so that you're not depleting yourself that's a big message here so that you're not depleting yourself underneath the king of pentacles ooh, is the devil underneath the devil is the Knight of Cups. So here's the thing, you guys. I feel like our societal energies of 
um, grinding, grinding, grinding. A lot of what the patri I'm hearing patriarchy. So a lot of what the patriarchy has taught us in our work ethic and all that, I feel like that's what's, that's, that's the problem here. And I feel like your heart is in fact in the right place with this Knight of Cups energy or Son of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. But ultimately, there's some toxicity wrapped up into it um, that needs to be ironed out, that needs to be cleaned out of the situation for this to really be as beneficial as you, I want to say, intend it to be. What I'm feeling from the devil here, Aquarius, is the energy of grinding, 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 and not really taking any time for yourself. Something similar to that, okay? Whatever would be causing you to basically deplete yourself and not take time to replenish. Or to not have a system in place that would allow you to replenish as you go along. Make sense? It's not a reciprocal situation. There it is. You got to learn how to make this reciprocal. 1111. We got to find a way to make this reciprocal somehow. Okay, Aquarius. All right. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, you have the king of wands. Beautiful. So you're activated. You're guided. You're ready to go. You're feeling inspired. You really want to do this. This is... It's not, and, and okay, great. It's never been a question as to whether or not you want to be involved in this certain charity, this certain organization, this certain career field, um, you know, this certain this group of people, whatever. It, it was never really a question as to whether or not you wanted to be involved in this way or in some way similar to this. But again, this, and it's interesting because this feels like someone that's very new Someone that's very green, very bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and probably doesn't have much experience with these types of organizations or these types of environments or these types of situations. Now, Aquarius, this could be you or it could actually, now that I'm thinking to feeling through it, this could be someone that is new to your team, new to your life, new to your, your business, uh, uh, new, new to your environment, whatever. So you could be dealing with someone else that is having to learn this, or this could be you. But we need to learn, in this situation, we need to, we need to learn not to burn ourselves out. Now, here's the other thing, because we have two kings, right? Both of these are very mature energies. And it almost feels like this mature individual is being manipulated, maybe even gaslit into fulfilling some sort of arrangement or responsibility that at this point isn't really feasible. Like the market has changed or the environment has changed, or maybe you were baited and switched. Maybe you got into a situation and you're looking back in hindsight saying, wait a second, this is not what we agreed to. Mm. King of Wands is coupled with Whoa, there's the emperor again. She, wow. All right, so look, Aquarius, this is definitely the right place for you to be in. Wow. I'm just, I'm trying to feel through this, Aquarius. I'm trying to pick up, I mean, pick up the other messages, but really that's all it, it I mean, this emperor which is like the king of all kings, right? There's a lot of masculine energy here. But this emperor is kind of just saying, this is the right place for you. I mean, you are... What are the words I'm looking for here? This just feels, this feels right for you. But again, what we need to, we need to, to, to clean up is we need to find some balance in this situation. You are very capable, Aquarius. You are very, very capable. And actually, there might be some individuals that are well aware of this that are actually trying to take advantage of that. It's like they see the light in you. They see the, the passion in you. They see the opportunity in you. They see what you have to offer. And I just feel like this person is, is being manipulated. The degree to whether to which they're being manipulated obviously would vary depending on where you are in life and what you've experienced and learned so far but 
I really do feel like there's an attempt to manipulate someone. Gaslighting is feeling very strong here. And I, it, it just feels like this person that has the potential to provide is being, or is, is someone's trying to manipulate that person. The one that has what, the other, what is needed, apparently. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. We have four of pentacles. Uh, Aquarius, this is saying to stand your ground somehow. The Four of Pentacles can be a very stubborn energy, a very miserly energy, right? The Four of Pentacles can represent holding on to something for dear life when you know you need to be letting go of it. Or all the signs are pointing to you needing to let go of it. But here, I feel like, Aquarius, this is saying don't back down. But it's saying it in a pretty interesting way. It's it's saying, look at the foundation that you built for yourself already. Don't deviate from that foundation that you have so far. There could be some individual that's in your life right now that's really trying to make some radical changes. And you're an Aquarius, you're a fixed sign. You're not really trying to change too much all too quickly, if at all even, right? So don't deviate from that. I feel like if there's something new that's coming through, there's some new opportunity or a new path, a new way, way of doing things. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I, I, there's something there's something not right about this. And it, it feels like someone might be trying to get you to move too quickly. Like if there's someone coming in that's brand new, that's got this new method, they're like, and they're putting on the hard sell for you, don't give in right away because something's not right with that. Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Ace of Cups. There's that Ace of Cups again. You need to maintain a foundation of self-love and compassion and care for the self. If whatever it is that's coming forward for you or is changing or is happening for you right now is causing you to lose, to, to lose your sense of self-love and self-care and all that, do not deviate from your foundation do not deviate from your foundation to 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 align with that because it's throwing you off center it's throwing you off base if you're going to be in a service-based industry or in a service-based profession then you need to have a strong stable solid foundation within yourself to make like a, a, a good gauging system for you to check in with yourself and say, okay, am I in am, am, I, am I in the right place for this right now? Is there anything I need to do to care for myself right now? You have to make sure that you take care of your home base first. If you ever expect to be able to provide or be there or, or provide some sort of service for others, okay? Don't deviate from that foundation ever <laughs> or you will burn out lose your way, lose your focus, whatever. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius, is the Empress now. Wow. That's cool. But there is a balance that's needing to come through here. I think there is an overemphasis in masculine energy, and that could be where the patriarchal societal conditioning is coming through. There needs to be a balance between action and receptivity there needs to be moments of action and there needs to be moment of inaction and your challenge right now aquarius is to kind of take a step back and allow your allow a little more of this empress or divine feminine energy to kind of integrate into your life or just to like wrap you up in a little cocoon so that you can rest for a little bit there is, there is a need to kind of fall back into a little bit more of the feminine side of things right now, which is just ref, which is ref, um, uh, receptive and goes with the flow. Isn't really driving anything. Instead is being driven to where they want to go and they get to where they want to go, at least feminine energies get to where they want to go by being in alignment with it and allowing the energies to to take them there or allowing something to come to them to receive yes that makes perfect sense aquarius you need a moment to receive for yourself because you've just been giving 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 the empress is coupled with the five of wands but you do not know well, well, you're, i don't know about that 
there's so many things to do there are so many i have so many things i'm responsible for but look at it this way aquarius how do you expect to be able to show up in a good way in a beneficial way for those that you're responsible that you have responsibilities towards if you don't take the time to replenish your own energies your own reserves again you cannot be there for someone else if you're not there for yourself first initially i almost want to tell you i, I just heard give up the drive for a little bit i almost want to tell you to like take the co-pilot or the back seat for a second and let the universe or let something else drive for a little bit so you can like you know take a nap maybe <laughs> so that you know you're not falling asleep at the wheel maybe that would be nice closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here aquarius you have the seven of swords yeah there's some deception going on around you there are some people that are trying to overtake it's like, I almost feel like there are some people or some situations, circumstances that are kind of bleeding you dry here. I don't like that. Seven of Swords is coupled with. But also, you know what? The Seven of Swords could be you deceiving yourself. No, I don't, I don't need a break. I don't need to rest. Let's just keep going. No, no, Aquarius, let's stop for a hot minute and take a break. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Six of Cups. Something that you learned in the past, in childhood, was very, was very deceptive. Very deceptive. And to be quite honest, it might have helped you get to where you are now, but ultimately it is not a sustainable way of life. Conditioning, indoctrination, patriarchal energies, patriarchal conditioning. There you go right there. Overemphasis on masculine energy where your challenge here is the counterpart to the emperor, the empress, the feminine side of things. Receptivity, peace, healing, compassion, vacation. <laughs> All right, let's get into the second half of your reading here, Aquarius. First set of surrounding energies for you. The 10 of pentacles, completion. But you know what? Also, this feels like a career trajectory. This feels like you have a goal in mind. You have a long-term plan. You may even have like a, a long-term business model put together that you're wanting to put into action. And that could be, this could be for those of you that are fairly new to something here, or maybe fairly new to this journey of like healing and being of service. Um, this might very well be a a a long-term career goal but that also could be why you're kind of falling victim to some sort of manipulative energies but it's all just part of the preliminary learning process it's like you're getting your prerequisites right now you're getting the the beginnings the basics of what you need to to move forward to to have a sustainable path forward so that you're not burning yourself out before you reach the end goal Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the t th damn. There you go. The Two of Pentacles, learning how to balance, learning how to maintain your balance so that you can be in this for the long haul. Because that's also what the Ten of Pentacles can represent: being in something for the long haul. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. Ooh, ooh. whoa! Three of Swords. Okay. Now, is it Three of Swords energy? Is it heartbreak? Is it betrayal? Is it sadness? Is it whatnot, whatever? Is, it, is that what has gotten you into this field already? It may not necessarily be that specifically what you... Ooh, whoa. <laughs> um, you may have been... It may have been a goal or an option for your life all along. And, and if that's the... And with that being the case, then what you've experienced has been helping set you up, prepare you for this, okay? But I still, I get this feeling of like, there's an urgency of wanting to help people. There's an urgency of wanting to help people deal with heartbreak and pain and all that stuff. But you have to keep in mind that you're only one person 
and you're not the only person that's meant to come in and and help people heal like this so it's not like you have to have to carry all of this responsibility on your shoulders you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders if you help one person in the course of your life then that's a mission accomplished i know it doesn't seem like much but technically that's a mission accomplished okay there are millions of us out here that are trying to help also you're not in this alone so it's not like you would have to i just feel this sense of urgency i just i, I just i just gotta help it's like okay that's great you can help but be reasonable pace yourself three of swords is coupled with the tower yeah so it's your own heartbreak that has put you in this position. It's the, it's the things that you've been through that has helped put you in this position to want to heal yourself and want to help heal others. And that's great. That is admirable. That is beautiful. But you have to pace yourself, Aquarius. And you don't have to do this alone. Your challenge in the second half of your reading. Ooh, the Page of Cups. Yeah, there is a dream within you. But there's also a sense of uh, naivet naivete. Did I say that correctly? I don't know. There's a there's a little bit of being a little green here, okay? A little bright eyed and bushy tail, a little a little green around the edges, a little rough around the edges. There's a there's a there's. Please don't take this the wrong way, but there is a level of. Uh, a, a bit of a lack of maturity here, but uh, instead of a lack of maturity, I guess I should say uh, a lack of experience. That makes sense. There's a lack of experience <clears throat> that is kind of leaving you susceptible to some energies that just want to kind of like abuse you or take advantage of how green you are, right? I mean, it is what it is, but just keep that in mind. That's your challenge right now. And that's also could be leading to what is helping you burn out so easily. What's helping you feel so drained because there are some boundaries that also need to be learned here. Okay. Page of cups is coupled with strength. Beautiful though. Really, really beautiful. And this is the strength to learn, the strength to grow, the strength to persevere, to strength, the, the strength to put your dreams into action that is beautiful tenacity i love that aquarius but pace yourself honey yeah you don't have to save the world all on your own or overnight trust me honey you're not gonna be able to save do either of those save the world all by yourself and overnight just not gonna happen but quite frankly it's not meant to because if it was meant to there wouldn't be seven billion people on the planet right now <laughs> right is there there might be more than that i don't know whatever closing message or potential outcome for you aquarius there's that nine of swords again good golly the nine of swords is coupled with the three of pentacles and yeah this is a this is a this is, is a mountain you are having to climb a mountain here. Not gonna lie, you're having to climb a mountain here and it's that uphill climb, it's the trajectory, it's all the things that you need to learn, all that stuff in order to be successful here. Yeah, okay, I understand that, why that would be giving you anxiety, but it is doable. It is absolutely doable, Aquarius. You have to believe in yourself, okay? I mean, that's in your challenge energy, but I do feel like you have it at your disposal. All right, let's get your closing message from the Oracle of the Unicorns here. All right, Aquarius. And then I'm going to get into your love reading, which is going, which is available on Patreon. Yeah. Last shuffle, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Also, you can find the link in the description box. Yes. All right. All right. All right. So closing message for Aquarius. Gentleness. Woo. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. We have freedom at the bottom of the deck. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. There is no reason for you to be stuck or tied down to something that is no longer serving you. You are an independent individual. And at any given moment, if something does not seem to be working right for you, if there is a breach of contract in any sort of way, or if there is something that you find that you did not sign up for, you are an independent individual. 
well of course depending on the circumstances of the contract that you sign if you have signed a contract but you have the right to question is basic is is the point okay you have imagination here envision a new reality give yourself permission to dream believe in unlimited possibilities and then you also have gentleness be kind to yourself and others honor your gentleness and speak words of love be kind to yourself is the strong thing here all right Okay, Aquarius, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to get into your love reading now, which is available on Patreon, yeah? So if I don't see you there, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again, most likely for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!